It's day 147 of the project and I'm really excited to once again bring you another first look at a brand new fragrance for 2022. Today's featured scent is from the house of Valentino and this is the latest flanker to the Born in Roma series and this one is called Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. It certainly looks the part and to find out what this one smells like and whether it's worth picking up, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 147 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is Valentino Womo Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, which I'm not going to lie is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, and this one's been out now for a few weeks. Um, it came out at the start of uh, 2022. But so far, I haven't seen that many people talking about it. So I saw it on the Essential website, and they're currently doing a 25% discount sale. So I just went ahead and uh, I blind bought it. It comes in a 50ml and a 100ml bottle size, and it's an eau de toilette concentrate. This 100ml bottle retails at £76, but with my 25% essential discount, I ended up picking it up for £57. This flanker follows the original Born in Roma. Um, this was released in 2019, which I've really enjoyed and it's grown on me more and more every time I've worn it. Then came the uh, Born in Roma Yellow Dream Flanker in 2021, which I wasn't really that blown away by, even though it is a really nice and pleasant smelling fragrance. Uh, but if you want to watch either of those two reviews in full, they're both available in the 365 playlist on my homepage and my channel. So this one to me looks really interesting on paper according to the note breakdown and it's described as a woody aromatic fragrance for men and just like the uh, other Born in Roma releases there's also a woman's variant uh, which comes in a similar looking bottle design but it's uh, a square shaped bottle uh, and it's, it's a completely clear bottle with pink juice. Yes, so into the presentation and the box looks really stylish and it comes in a matte black textured finish with pink branding set within a gloss black rectangle. On the front is the Valentino logo and then we've got the name of the fragrance at the bottom. There's also the size and concentration which is tucked right away at the very bottom uh, in an inconspicuous grey text. On the back, uh, there's loads of product information and your barcode, and then it's same again underneath. We've got more pro um, more product information, and there's also your batch code on there. And if you're interested, uh, the batch code on this one is 38UD006. The bottle comes in a, a fam the familiar like pyramid-shaped uh, studded glass design with a black to clear gradient. Uh, but it's the coloured juice that gives it the coral colour at the bottom. There's a, a leather patch inserted into the uh, front which contains the Valentino logo and you also get like a matte black uh, click on cap uh, and more studied detailing around the neck of the atomizer. The atomizer delivers a really nice even blast of fine mist and there's nothing really uh, much more I can say about the presentation that hasn't already been said a hundred times before. These bottles just look absolutely amazing. Uh, they are a little bit camp looking and it might look like a, something out of a, a Fifty Shades of Grey movie with all the, uh, the, the studs and the leather but I really like it. It looks really classy and it just feels really well made when you're holding it. Yeah, the top notes in this one are red apple, cardamom and bergamot. In the heart of the scent is bourbon geranium, lavender and clary sage. And in the base there's tobacco leaf, patchouli and Haitian vetiver. Yeah, so this opens up with a spiced apple accord with the sweet and juicy red apple combining with the cardamom and also the zesty bergamot and you, you get a really lovely bright and punchy and uplifting first impression. To me it's more like a, a sweet pineapple rather than the a normal apple accord because it's so juicy and it's really fruity with a, a nice amount of sweetness but there's also a spicy kick uh, which brings a bit of sparkle and fizziness. And I've got to say, I was really impressed with how this smelled from the initial spray. 
And as it dries down, it stays really vibrant and the geranium keeps the spiciness alive and the lavender and the clary sage bring a, a very mild powderiness. Uh, it definitely goes off in a, a different direction to the original, which was quite powdery and uh, fairly floral too. There's tobacco leaf, patchouli and vetiver in the base, which gives it a masculine and earthy edge. But all the way through, it retains its playful and sweet fruitiness and it has a really happy vibe to it. It does smell like a designer fragrance with a bit of a high quality shower gel aroma and some synthetic qualities to it. Um, so you may see some hardcores giving it a bit of stick on Fragrantica in the comments, but honestly, this smells really good and I reckon it'll be a huge compliment getter. It's very mass appealing and it's a versatile scent with a, a predominantly playful character. But yet there's a nice balance of masculine elegance to it also, uh, which is why this is definitely a love at first sniff for me. It's clean, crisp and fruity up top with a sexy masculine base. What more could you want from a fragrance? This is a very versatile scent that I could see myself wearing pretty much all year round, but it'd probably shine the most dressed up in the evenings as a bit of a party fragrance. It gives off a fairly loud and vibrant aroma that will, without any doubt, draw people in and they'll all be asking you what you're wearing. But like I say, I'd be happy to wear this dressed up for a really smart event or to wear it casually during the day. It's a bit of a hybrid fragrance and if you're looking for a one fragrance signature scent for all occasions uh, then this one it definitely needs to be on your shortlist because it just does it all. It's fairly ageless too and even though I reckon more younger guys will be uh, drawn to it I'd be more than happy to have this as my signature fragrance to wear all year round. The performance on this is surprisingly good and way better than the other previous two releases and in my opinion I'd even extend that to being the best performing Valentino warm or full stop. It gives off a strong projection for the first couple of hours where everyone within six feet of you are going to catch thick wafts of it. Uh, then when you get into like the three to the six hour mark people will still be able to notice it but by this point it's more of like an arm's length projection. But in terms of performance, there's absolutely nothing to uh, complain about here and it's bordering on being a bit of a room filler for the first couple of hours. Yeah, this is a really high quality designer fragrance and I'm really impressed with how good it actually is. It smells amazing and it packs a fair bit of punch with excellent projection and longevity. It's like wearing a tuxedo with a pair of Adidas trainers. It's classy but yet it has a playful side. It's going to get you loads of compliments and this is one of them fragrances that I can see women absolutely loving to smell on a man. The presentation is also first class, so for that reason, Valentino Huomo, born in Roma, Coral Fantasy, gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. But over the next few days, I'm going to talk about some fragrances that have actually been spotted on my shelves in the background and have been requested by subscribers to the channel, which to be honest, I didn't even realise that I hadn't talked about some of them. So thanks for being nosy and gawping at them rather than uh, concentrating on one, the one that I'm talking about. I'm only joking, you know, I love you really. I've also got um, loads of other good stuff coming up, so make sure you hit that bell icon for notifications of new uploads. And as always, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's always great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature in this 365 project. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode. Stay safe. Keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.